Right, well, it's lovely to meet you. I saw the film this morning. I thought it was absolutely terrific. And oh. now I'm going to ask you to try and teach me how to draw Snoopy. Okay. Now, I'm a really terrible drawer, but I will give it my best shot. All right. Well, I am going to share with you my favorite Snoopy pose. And this was from when I was a kid. It's Snoopy's happy dance. So think about a bowling pin. Keep okay. that thought in your mind, and then we'll start. Because Snoopy's head looks a bit like a bowling pin when you draw this style. All right, so I start up at the top, and I'm drawing his head and coming down to his neck. All right, so I'm going to finish off the top of that bowling pin, kind of a fat, round bowling pin up there at the top. And when it comes down to here, then, of course, I've got Snoopy's collar. That neck kind of feel, feeds right into that. And he's happy, <clears throat> and he's dancing. So his arms are outstretched. And so come out here, and then he's got these big fingers. Well, he's kind of, they're like paws. And then we come over here, and the other arm is out. And those nice big chubby fingers and it's great if each one of them looks a little bit different at least that's what I've learned from what Charles Schultz said all right so we've got his hands and his head now we got to think about his body <clears throat> and it's almost like uh, what he have on his head but down on the bottom and I always like to think of a little bit of an arc of action so we come down here and we're around his behind and now he's got his leg up in the air because he's dancing so I do Oops his knee and then his foot out from that. I have a feeling this is where I might struggle. Yeah, all right. <laughs> well, he's got toes too, so a little of that. And then I'm gonna finish out his belly. Now, he's in action. When he's dancing, he's moving fast. And you might have noticed in the movie, we do this, we call it multiples, where we put multiple feet in because he's moving very, very fast. So I pretend like there's a pinwheel. There's a point here and I just radiate other lines out because that's where his feet would be going. And then just put some action lines because it's fast. You can be loose and you can not worry about it too much. And then we come over here and we add his tail and of course his tail is moving, so we just put some action lines on there to make it seem really speedy. And now I've forgotten something up here at the top. So I come back up to the top and put Snoopy's nose. Little key that I've learned when you color it in, leave a little white spot. Shows that he's got a wet nose and a little highlight on there. And you come down on that big head, down about the bottom quarter, and you give him some floppy ears. And they're thicker on the ends and thinner where they connect, like that. And Charles Schultz, when he would color in the ears, even though Snoopy had black ears, he was always very loose in the way that he colored them in. It gave the drawing life and made you feel like there was a little sheen on those uh, ears, just like a beagle has. And then you got your other ear, and they don't need to match because they're just flopping up in the air because he's so happy in his dance. So does it all come quite naturally to you, or did, or did you have to sort of, did someone initially sort of <clears throat> teach you how to, to draw Snoopy? Well, you know, I think I, I grew up trying to draw these characters when I was a kid. Now, obviously I've studied them a lot more in the making of this movie, and so I understand a bit more about how the proportions work. I've got to come up here and give him a big old smile. And I've found that if you let it be, have a little bit of wiggle, it just gives the smile more life. And then because he's way up in the air, because he's doing a leaping dance here, I just come down and give him a, a little shadow, just lifts him off the ground like that. And since we've got a red pen, we might as well do it. His, uh, his collar is always red. And I never color it in perfectly. Charles Schultz never did. It makes it seem like there's a little highlight on the edge. So there you go. There's Dancing Snoopy. Maybe what we'll do is give him a little more action lines because he's moving. 
There you go. That's pretty impressive. I have a feeling I'm going to end up taking your one home as opposed to the one I'm about to do. <laughs> I'm also right-handed. I'm not making excuses. I'm definitely making excuses. But I'm right-handed. So this could be quite tough not to cover the canvas. Yes, so we will give you full, uh, par full pardon on your drawing <laughs> because you're on the wrong side. Okay. You want to give it a try? Let's give it a go. You All might right. have to guide me through it again. Okay. Okay. This is Snoopy in motion, not just right. Snoopy standing. St so I start up toward the top, and it's that kind of top of a bowling pin. Okay. Sort of coming, I sort of do it facing me, I guess. Sure. So, like that. It's a bit wonky. There you go. Maybe you round the top of his head up a little bit. There, now you're talking. Yeah. Now you got to have his collar because that neck feeds down into a collar. All right, I'll just go down a bit sort of more inwards. There you go. Got his okay. collar. And right from his collar, it's like uh, my arms come up right up there. His arms are straight out, but his arms aren't super long. Right, so how am I doing his arms? Well, I take one arm out straight out that direction. Like that? Or is that a bit wonky? Well, you got to leave a little room for some hands in That's there. That's a good point. I, I can always <laughs> turn that end of it into a into one of his paws. I like that. Yeah. So I'm quite resourceful you, with that's this. That's what's most important in drawing. <laughs> Be um, resourceful. There you go. Okay. And he's got to have some hands. Right. So Or paws somewhere. Man, you got the paws down. Uh, I'm quite good with paws. Yeah. So I'll, so I'll do the paws like... Oh no, I've done that just completely differently. Is I love it. It's got new attitude. Right. <laughs> and I've got to move them in, I guess. Yeah, you got to give us, get, finish out the arm. All right. And now we got to give him that body. And remember, the body's kind of like the head, but flipped upside down. So he's got a little more heft down around his belly and his butt. Right, okay. There you go. And imagine, now I've got my leg up in the air. Right. So he's got his his leg bent up. So going in, that way? Yeah, up in his dance. Oh, this is, gonna, this is where it's going to get really bad, I have oh, a feeling. Um, should gonna... I go through the middle? Why not? Right, okay. Yeah. So, wait. I'd go way up on a diagonal, because if he's dancing, he's a very flexible guy. That's true. But I, I guess that's just a sort of coming out and then going back up? or Yeah. Sort, sort of, of up and... I mean, that, that, that's just a line right through the middle of his body. <laughs> well, it's all overlapping. It's, that's that's he's, true. He's moving very fast. I can we do can... the action bits. They were quite easy. That's just like yeah, that. Yeah, you got action easy. going. Action. Well, let's, let's give him his foot. His foot is pretty big. You know, right. it's like that big. Again, just sort of coming out like that. Is that... He's sort of... It's going to be a new... Leaning. It's going to be a new kind this of is, dance. This is a new kind of Snoopy. I think we're just going to go with it. This is creative. I love it. And then... What do I, what should, oh, he's got sort of, like you said, he's got. Uh-huh. There we go. So he's got toes. Okay. And how about, uh, let's give him another foot since you've got it going here. You've just invented a new pose for Snoopy. Well, you know, I've. Let's finish off the back of his foot. It's a good idea. All right. Okay. Now. <laughs> You gotta give him his face and his nose and his ears. The nose I can do. Got that? All right. And some action ears. Action ears. All right. Good. And then color in, but not color it in. Give it a little something. This is actually... This is the hardest part, drawing right-handed all the way over there. I know. Right. All right, is he going to be happy dancing? Oh, of course, he's Snoopy. Of course. So now I've got to do a mouth, I guess. I think so. I think a big smile up there. He looks pretty happy. <laughs> he looks good. Tell you what, this isn't ready yet. I do, I should, I do more action. Give some more action, then. And then just a little up there, just to show that he's moving his arms as well. That's right. And then oh, I like that bit you did. Yeah, just... leaping off the ground. He is happy. Well, I'll tell you what, you certainly have captured the uh, expression of happiness there, <laughs> which is what is most important with Snoopy. Just got one more mine there. Oh, yes, please. All right, here we go. There we go. There you go. You've drawn Snoopy. 
You know, that's actually not, I think what I've just got to do is just kind of sign it like that, just because it looks a bit more. Yes, now it is a work, of, a work of art. Thank you so much for that. That was a real pleasure. I'm going to hang Likewise. it on my wall. I might hang yours on the wall and have mine kind of underneath it. That's why I can always flip over. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, yeah. Is that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, yeah. Is that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!